Hi everyone, and welcome back to my channel. For those of you who haven't been here before, hi, I'm Lori Hill, and on this channel, we talk about plastic surgery and cosmetic procedures. I also talk about beauty and beauty standards. So if that sounds good to you, then please subscribe. I often use celebrities as examples of the plastic surgery procedures that I talk about. When I do this, it's never to shame or hate on that celebrity. It's simply to show you how much of an illusion the entertainment industry is. And when you think somebody was born perfect, generally that perfection was achieved through plastic surgery. In today's video, I'll be doing a plastic surgery analysis and a reaction video combined on Katherine Paz McBroom, the other half of the extremely popular ACE family. First, we're going to do a quick analysis on Katherine's work. Secondly, we're going to react to Catherine's video called New Body. And last, we're going to add up all of the procedures that Catherine may have had done, and you'll find out how much it costs to look like Catherine McBroom. Always remember that these videos are speculation only. I have no actual medical proof that the celebrity has had any of the procedures we talk about today. It's all based on my knowledge of plastic surgery and how it presents on the face and the body. We do have a sponsor for today's video. Please join me in welcoming Honey to the channel. Honey is an online shopping tool in the form of a button on your browser that searches the internet looking for deals on your purchases. It finds promo codes for things that you're looking to buy without you having to search for hours. So you don't have to spend all your time looking for promo codes. Honey does it for you. And it works with all of your favorite websites. It's so easy, you guys. Watch this. Here I am checking out. All I do is click the Honey icon on the browser and Honey goes to work finding coupon codes. It's so easy. For me personally, I love saving money, but I don't like spending all of that time searching for those codes. So if you wanna be able to shop and get promo codes without spending hours trying to find those codes yourself, then add Honey to your browser. It's completely free. Just go to my link down below in the description box. Thank you so much to Honey for sponsoring this video and a big thank you to you guys for supporting my sponsors. Catherine Paz was born on August 24th, 1990 in Montreal, Canada. She is married to Austin McBroom of the Ace family fame and together they have three children. They have a very popular YouTube channel that is focused on their family called The Ace Family. Catherine started out as an aspiring actress and working model. When I saw photos of her from her younger years, it immediately became apparent to me that Catherine has had some plastic surgery to enhance the natural beauty she already had. Catherine starts out with beautiful skin and a great smile. It should be noted that most of Catherine's before photos have been removed from the internet. And the few that remained I found mostly in videos that were made of her. When I look at photos of Catherine, it's easy to see that her nose has been altered. Her nose before had a wider tip as well as a small hump on profile. After her nose job, you can see that her nose looks more narrow and the hump is gone. It's a couple of years after Catherine's first nose job that I see a second rhinoplasty. Her tip has been derotated and is no longer upturned. There has been a graft added to make the nose look straighter with no slope. In these photos, I can also see some small cheek implants were added. When you look at Catherine from the three quarters point of view, you can see some prominence that wasn't there prior. Her cheek implants are subtle, but are definitely there. Catherine has admitted to having a breast augmentation, and I definitely see that early in her career. I also see some possible liposuction to her stomach, inner and outer thighs, and flanks to get that super small waist that she presents with. It also could be diet and exercise. And all of this work was before having children, while she was pursuing a career in Hollywood. I do think Catherine has had a bit of lip fillers recently, as well as some dermal fillers to her face, just to fill in volume deficiencies. And the Botox and fillers probably started recently because she spent years being pregnant and breastfeeding. So I'm going to total in the Botox and fillers for just one year. Now let's react to Catherine's video called New Body. So I did two things. So first I did my arms um, and the procedure is called 
air sculpt. So it's a non-invasive procedure. You do it awake and it's pretty quickly. And it's considered like a lipo, which I wasn't actually aware of that, but it's considered like a lipo. You remove like excess fat in like certain areas that you no longer want them, like stubborn fat. What I'm wondering is how a procedure called air sculpt can be, as she says, like a lipo. Liposuction is liposuction and anything that's not directly sucking out fat isn't liposuction. So I want to hear what the explanation is for this. And then I also did my lower belly abdomen area um, where I had like a pouch where you have like that baby pouch. You guys know, you guys have been here for so long and some of you guys are newer, but you guys know that I had three kids back to back to back within five years. It's a mommy thing. Your belly creates this like pouch area to like protect your babies and so that's kind of like what my body did over the years and it did it three different times yep i have that pouch area i totally understand as far as like my belly area i felt like that was the one area that i if i could fix anything if i could not even fix if i could alter something it would be that and then my arms as well. So I went with this procedure, it's called air sculpt. It's super easy. They say like, oh, it's non-invasive, like you can go back to work the next day. A lot of people can, and I've actually talked to a lot of my friends who have done it, and they're like, yeah, I went back to the work the next day. But for me, it's taking a little longer to heal, and I'm not really sure why, but it's been about a week, and I just feel like I'm still <laughs> trying to like recover. That's one of my like biases against non-invasive stuff is sometimes it's the same recovery or even a longer recovery and sometimes you have to repeat it and it's painful each time you repeat it versus something like liposuction where you get it done once and you're done of course there's risks with liposuction just as there's risks with non-invasive procedures Hi. Back. Welcome. You. You're you. looking great. Thank you. you are Not good. sure how we're going to be able to improve upon that. Okay. So the good thing is uh, air sculpt is great for that natural uh, look. Yeah. And so no, we're not going to go overboard and overdo things. Yeah. Um, Again, we'll take a look in a moment. Okay. I can't imagine it being that much anyway yeah. that would yeah. need to be done. Uh, like I can go get away with not ever doing it. Mm -hmm. But then what I realize is like when I work out, like yeah, I feel good. But there's always that like, it's like a mom thing. Like okay. it just never mm -hmm. goes away. Like I feel like even when I had lost all the weight after my first daughter and I was like honestly even too small, like I was mm -hmm. honestly under like a lot of stress and mm -hmm. I just lost a lot of weight. And I was breastfeeding for two years. Mm -hmm. Even then, when I was so small, mm -hmm. I had it, and I'm yeah. like, how do I have that still? But then I realized, I'm like, no, that's just that's just like natural, like that's just yeah. like a woman's body. Because if they remove that fat from the pouch or the pooch area, how I forgot how she described it. I'm curious if that would actually make more loose skin. That skin may not necessarily bounce back. It might just create a loose pouch, whereas before that pouch was filled in more. Mm -hmm. I feel like my arms genetically, like my mom, my grandmother, my grandma, my grandma's grandma, grandma, like they all have like fluffy arms. Yeah, yeah. And I think it's more of like a Latina thing. I think any like ethnicity can have fluffy arms. I feel like I have some fluff to my arms. I'm sure a lot of you out there are thinking it's not just a Latina thing. She looks great, so I don't know. So we have outlined your arm region here where we're going to contour. So basically it's underneath this portion, oh all of this here. I'm curious that if they remove that fat, would she have loose skin there? I kind of feel like she would. So I'm curious to see how they handle that. It's like a lot. Yeah, well, you know what? <laughs> It'll be interesting to see how much comes out, yeah. but the benefit is you're gonna get that over the underhang area it's so crazy that i never the doctor just said that the benefit of this is that that skin area will elevate my first question would be wait how because are you going to do something that tightens the skin that's my question because with lipo they have laser assisted lipo where they can tighten the skin but with this i don't think it's an actual lipo so how are they going to elevate that skin Skin will elevate and retract, 
And then once you work out and whatnot, your yeah. tricep muscle, your bicep muscle on top will really stand out. It will really get good definition there. Yeah, so he's saying that once she works out and builds up that tricep, that that's gonna show through better because they removed that fat. But I'm still wondering if he is saying that she needs to build muscle to fill out that deflated skin envelope after removing that fat. You need to ask the questions in a certain way to get a certain answer. So let's see. Rubber band One, two, what is that? Three. Now on this end. One, two, three. Hi. Oh my gosh. Hi mommy. <laughs> I'm doing it right now. Oh my god, really? I feel nothing. Wow. Literally, I feel nothing. Really? Yes. Oh my god. And they gave me laughing gas and I might have taken it a little bit too much. I definitely see a cannula going in and out of her arms. So at the very least, this is a minimally invasive procedure, but it's, it's definitely invasive. there's fat going into a reservoir that they've removed. It has to be just a, another name for liposuction. Let me look it up right now. I just Googled AirSculpt. AirSculpt is a patented body contouring technology. We believe fat removal and body contouring should be as comfortable and minimally invasive as possible. So this technique was designed to delicately remove unwanted fat through a two millimeter wide entry point with no needle, no scalpel, and no stitches, all while you're awake. AirSculpt provides superior results while helping you heal faster with significantly less bruising and trauma to the area. Okay, I'm gonna look up one more thing. Is AirSculpt the same as Lipo? AirSculpt is essentially a marketing name for liposuction combined with laser energy. Okay, you guys, no big surprises there. A lot of times doctors will make up new names for things as a marketing term so that they become popular under that marketing term. Air Sculpt is just another way to say I'm getting laser liposuction done. Basically, Air Sculpt is a socially acceptable way to say I'm getting laser assisted liposuction. A lot of times people don't want to say they're getting liposuction. <sighs> I'm so happy that we have figured this out together. And this actually sheds a light on why it's taking Catherine longer to recover from something that I at first thought was just a minimally invasive procedure. She's recovering from liposuction. Of course her recovery is gonna be more than a week. I'm doing it right now. Really? I love you. Hi, my love. Mom, where are you? I'm at a doctor's office. It's so hard to know what to tell your children if you're getting a cosmetic procedure. This really hits home for me as something that's very difficult, actually, as a parent. There's really no right answers. You don't wanna lie to your children, but you also don't wanna tell them that you're getting a feature change that they may have themselves one day. A lot of you ask me what to tell your children, and as of right now, I don't have a good answer for you. And just think, this is, there's some liquid fat in that as well. And we drained it I had many a lot times, of several fat. times, right? Yeah. I had a lot of, I had a lot of liquid fat. Much more than what we expected. Do you guys remember my prior question when I first thought it was a minimally invasive procedure? When my question was, how are they gonna get that skin to tighten up if they're not doing like a laser assisted liposuction? Okay, now I believe the doctor because now we know that this procedure is actually laser assisted liposuction under a fancy new rebranding name. So removing all of that fat and then tightening her arm up with the laser would lend to that skin elevating back up as the doctor said it would. All right, guys, welcome back. I hope you enjoyed that. Um, before I finish this video, I want to obviously show you how it looks and how everything's kind of like healing. I do want to say that if you're planning on doing anything like this, definitely, definitely do a lymphatic massage about like 
five days or a week um, post procedure because I found that to be super helpful like when I did it I was like oh my god I can actually walk even better now so I definitely recommend that no one like told me like I just kind of had to figure it out and I'm so glad that I did so if you are planning on doing that make sure you do that and then obviously like stay hydrated take all your antibiotics move around you have to be active and like walk at least for like 45 minutes a day and then you heal pretty fast like some people heal like within a couple days me it's taking a little bit longer I definitely recommend it um I'm still going to be showing you the process and the healing as I go but so far it's been so easy the procedure itself was like the easiest thing I've ever done like I literally did not feel anything like I felt nothing like I didn't even know when he start the doctor started like I was just laying there and all of a sudden I'm curious because she says she felt nothing but I didn't see how they actually locally numbed the area because she was awake so she still had that ability to feel pain so i'm going to look up real quick how air sculpt numbs the area because it says no needles so that right there tells me that they don't locally numb her let's find out it says the surgeon numbs the area with the air pen a device that uses pressurized air to administer topical numbing medication so that little poof of air in the beginning now we know what it was one two three They use pressurized air to administer the local topical anesthetic. This procedure is for people who are scared of needles and who are scared of going under anesthesia. That's who this procedure is for. So, I'll show you my arms. So my arms look like Wow. This, and I have like this compression. Her arms look so fabulous. I have that. And then I have the pad here, so one pad here, one pad here, one pad here, and it's like much bigger, it's like twice the size. Um, they're pretty thick, so I have three pads, and then I don't have one on my back. And her waist looks tiny too. I don't remember her saying that she was getting her waist done. I know she was getting that pooch done. She just looks tiny, she looks really good. It made a big difference. To me, this is liposuction. So I think like when you look at her results, don't think minimally invasive. It, this is liposuction while you're awake. This is liposuction for people who don't want needles and who don't want to go under and who will suffer through that whole procedure. Even though she said she didn't feel it, it's local anesthetic and they're going pretty deep. I just wonder if maybe you would feel it, at least somewhat. Catherine goes on to explain that getting rid of the pouch, that layer of fat over her belly, has helped her feel like she doesn't have to keep wearing workout clothes on a day in and day out basis and that she can get more into fashion because she loves fashion and she feels like she's always been wearing the same thing every day which is like spandex pants and things that are stretchy and now she feels like she can wear the fashions that she likes to wear. For those of you out there who are putting off wearing clothes that maybe you feel like you don't have the body for, tailoring goes a long way. Before you try to alter your body, maybe go to a really good tailor and see, even if you have to buy bigger clothing and tailor it down, see how you do with that first. That might go a long way in staving off surgery or putting it off. In any case, Catherine looks beautiful. I did research the price of Air Sculpt, and I was expecting it to be a lot lower price than it is. According to Real Self, the price of Air Sculpt is about eleven thousand dollars, and I'm not sure if it's eleven thousand per area. I think that it's probably eleven thousand total. So. That's kind of interesting because I thought that we would get a price break and that it wouldn't be similar to the price of liposuction, but in some cases, liposuction might actually be less expensive than air sculpt. Let's add up Catherine's procedures and see how much it costs to look like Catherine McBroom. Nose job, 15,000. Breast augmentation, 15,000. Botox and fillers, 5,000. Liposuction, 10,000. Air sculpt, 11,000. Second rhinoplasty, 15,000. Total cost, $71,000. So what do you guys think of Catherine McBroom's procedures? Also, would you stay awake during 
Basically, what is liposuction? Let me know in the comments below. Do you guys like these kind of reaction videos? Let me know what you think. Thank you guys so much for watching. Coming up next, please watch my video on Dove Cameron or watch my celebrity playlist. Thank you guys. I will see you next time. Bye. Bye. <laughs>